Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to part 44 of Ecom series in Laravel 5.6. And in this video, we are going to continue uh, working on uh, uh, shopping cart as well. And 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 in this particular video, uh, we are going to show the item uh, images it means card item images. We are going to show that we are saved in uh, card and along with images we will also work on delete functionality okay uh, so uh, first uh, we will see that uh, how we have done uh, this thing i am going to empty the early card values that we have created okay and see now our card is empty now i will add one product and let's see then i will explain you once again that the things which uh, we are going to do in this video and see we have added this item in card so we have got here product name product code uh, size price uh, quantity as well as price okay uh, so you have seen no image here so far because this image is not here because uh, we are not saving the product image in product table and uh, because we don't want to save everything in our car table uh, otherwise it will become really heavy and will slow down our website so uh, just good thing is just uh, we can get uh, from product id uh, we can uh, from product id we can get uh, the image from product table itself like it's seven id so we will check for seven id here and from here we can get this image okay so like this we can get its image and will display here in uh, item with, with item and for every product for every card item and along with this uh, we will also work on delete functionality delete card item functionality so that we can delete the card item that we don't require anymore so these two things we are going to do in this video so uh, let's start working on it in part 44 uh, we are uh, going to continue shopping cart process and in this video uh, we will show uh, product images in cart in cart and uh, we'll also work on delete functionality of card items items or products we can say products also okay the the products that we have added so now uh, you know that uh, we have not saved uh save uh product images in card uh, so uh, we need to write query to get those product images from products table so that we can display them in card with this thing we are going to see so this step we are going to take update card function okay so we are going to update this card function now okay so uh we will update card function to get images of the product of the product in card and return them them to the net file okay so uh what i will do here i will open now press controller okay this we will do in press controller 
okay we will update curve function in drops control log so that you will never forget that here we are going to update product uh, controller call function going to update call function in product controller here uh, yeah so if we see our current car you are going to see like this okay see current card view it's not having image so we will add image uh, in this uh, json object we can say okay so we are going to add and for this thing uh, we need to add another loop uh, so that uh, we can get image for every card item okay that we need to do in for it loop okay so we can simply do like this and here we require key as well okay so that we can update for every card item we can uh, make image element uh, for every card item so here we can add uh, product okay. like this and here uh, here this i want to show you that this thing we are getting here we are going to get product id here okay so that with that product id uh, we are going to uh, get the image okay so we will see that we get product id or not see we have get the id 7 id okay that is perfect that 7 id we get in for each loop so uh, from this id uh, we can get the product image very simple okay so what i will do i can do like product details uh, complete product details i can get here so that if anything else we require in future we can also get that but uh, you can even use select command if you just want to get one product id that you can also do but right now i am just uh, getting all the data uh, from the query and see uh, the uh, query that we are writing right now uh, the same thing uh, product id i am writing here uh, comparing with id so that i can get the product details uh, so uh, yeah after that first we can, yeah, it's fine okay so after that uh, now what i am going to do i am going to uh, add this in our json data i am going to add image so i will do like this to add image see here first uh, we can add like this dollar key here and after that key means zero that with every element it's going to update okay so image so you if you will pass something like test here then you will see that test will be passed to all the items okay so i will add one more item so that i uh, mean it will be more clear to you with two products I'm going to add one more item here uh, so yeah now it will be more clear see for both the product image is uh, now test and we are going to in, uh, replace this test with the uh product image okay so i uh, just want to show you the logic that in for it uh, every time we are doing that uh, first time is zero element comes and second time one element comes in dollar c okay so that we are doing so here it's very simple that we can simply add the image okay here you can get the image very simple it is okay so uh, now i will refresh
dash and we see that image is coming fine or not see the image has come for both the products and this image now we can use very easily uh, to our car blade file okay so uh, this i am uh, going to uh, uh, disable this thing and we will back to car blade file now we need to update car blade file okay so i'm going to update here car blade file okay update car dot blade dot php file okay that i'm going to update now now uh, Yeah, now, now we will uh, add image in our card blade file and by giving the image path with image name that we have got in card table now, card function now. Okay, so we simply add this part. Image card C. Yeah, see this uh this image sort we are going to replace and see the path we are using. You can get the path that we use in every place, so you can get the path, same path. We are using for all. Only difference here it will be uh, small instead of medium. Okay, so we can simply add this path first, and this one is our card because we are using card here. Okay, so yeah, that is fine. And here we will see like small. Okay, very simple thing we have done, and now we will see that in our card see the images have arrived okay so that's fine image has arrived now now we will give the style to the image you can give this style in css okay that's uh, not an issue for you but here we are just giving here in code itself and this is too big and we can do further Give update pixel uh, to to make I think some issue is coming in these images. I can give important as well, otherwise I will do for some CSS. I think I need to I need to make my fine dirty with CSS. CSS are not so good, but need to do that. Let's see this issue is coming. See here, here it's yeah. Oh, sorry, I am uh, I am wrongly and this one is not to do here. What silly mistake I am doing? I will just simply uh, just simply require this style in image, not in address. Don't do this silly mistake at your end. Okay, here now. Now we will check again. See now it's fine, perfect. Okay, see the images are coming now for the product, and you have seen the process in which uh, we have shown the images. Okay, now uh, you have seen in video images, product images are coming fine. Images are coming fine in. Card. And now we will work on deleting uh, card. We will work on deleting card items or standards. Okay, uh, now let's do one more thing in this video. We are going to delete every card item. Okay, so we will see that how to read this item very simple it is not a difficult task so first of all we are going to create route okay create route uh, we are going to
to create get route in web.php file uh, for deleting the uh, for deleting card items account okay line below so um, okay. and like this route get here we can do like card okay then we can do like lead product okay and then we can add uh, this id like dynamically so that we can set any id that we want also the product controller and I forget lead card product like this okay so this route we are going to create in our route file in web.php okay this one i'm going to close and see the card and after this i will write here so and this get product attribute price function uh, i will uh, get here from the detail page after this one and here i am going to add this one okay that's fine so i'll meet product from the card page so you can see the item from card page uh, yeah, so this one I am going to use, yeah, and it seems to be fine, yeah, okay, so, so uh, now we have created its route as well, and uh, now we are going to update its link in carpet file so we will get that car dot blade dot php file once again we we'll update now uh, the link for deleting card product card items that we will add here we will add okay Simply, we can add this link here. We can give URL, and the link is that we have added. First, we have added card. After that, delete product like this, and that we have to close. And this we can do. Then it will come like dollar star ID. Okay, this one uh, we are getting in the viewer. Uh, yeah, card just is fine. Car, yeah, it is fine. Card ID. So we can save and refresh here and see whether this link is coming. The first one, the first two. You can see at the bottom here. Here you can see it comes here. See, yeah. So it's fine. Now the next step is to uh, update. So we have added the link. See, we have added. Sorry, we have added this link here. Okay. So we just simply added this link from the blog. So. Uh, after this, uh, we are going to create delete card product function. Okay. So now, now we will create delete card product function. With ID as parameter, 
so that we can lead a card atom from that ID. Okay, and return to card page again. Okay. Has been in car now, plus has been lifted from car. Okay, now we will see that it is working fine or not. Now we will try deleting one product. No. Yeah, product has been lifted from car, it is working perfect. Okay, so that is fine. Uh, working fine. So we will add one, two more items. So so medium add to card okay that's fine one more item we can add t-shirt now we can add small as well small add to card okay so we can leave like if i want to leave medium okay yeah but has been it from card okay uh, we will also add check in future videos, but before check, we will do some more things in future videos. Like we are going to uh, update card functionality, we are going to work with, and one more thing that we will not allow duplicate items to be add uh, to add in card. So uh, much more we will do couple of more functionality later on and. Uh, here we will show the total and all so step by step we will do all the things and much more we will do so uh, stay tuned for the next video uh, you have seen and now uh, we able to uh, to delete the card item successfully okay and message 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 success message also we are getting also we are getting 
Okay. Uh, in next video, yeah, we will work on updating quantities, quantities, and uh, and we will also not allow to add duplicate car items. Uh, item error message will come. Uh, message will come if we try to go add same item again. Uh, again. So say tune for next video. Thanks for watching. Okay, that's all for now and uh, much more we will do in next video uh, with much more things uh, that I have explained. Also, we will do sweet alert, but not now, sometime after, uh, after working on some more videos, some more essential videos that my friends are waiting for. So, so after coming go, we will also see sweet alert. So that's all for now. Uh, have a nice time. Goodbye.